All right, so this is the DeWalt DW7480. Uh, it's a 2016 model. It's been out for a little while. There is a newer model available now, but it's generally built on the same platform, as far as I understand it. It's got this handy little knob here for the fence adjustment. It's a great saw, and DeWalt has sold a ton of these over the years. And in the manual, it actually says that this thing is not compatible with the dado set. So today, we're gonna find out whether or not this set actually fits. So if you have this saw, or if you're considering buying one and you've looked at it in the store, one of the first things you'll notice is the arbor. This is a 5 8 arbor, um, and here I've just got the standard 3 16 blade on it, but there is quite a bit of thread there, even with this spacer attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that off and show you how much room there is. All right, so I've got the blade off, and I'm just gonna show you inside here. So again, there's you know quite a bit of width on that arbor, but the interesting part about this is you can see the, gut, the dust collection shroud underneath. Uh, there's quite a bit of space there. So this is what initially made me wonder if DeWalt actually designed this thing to accept a dado, even though maybe later on they changed their mind and decided in the manual to say, no, it's not compatible. So let's put this blade on and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's get this old one out of the way. So this is a brand new blade, and we are going to be putting it through its paces to find out whether or not this little saw can keep up. So it comes with these, uh, the two uh, inside and outside blade. They are an eight inch blade just due to the extra weight, um, you know, compared to a 10 inch blade on your stand up standard table saw, the weight of these blades uh, would be a bit of a problem for that little motor. Uh, so they do make them a bit smaller. <clears throat> so each blade is an eighth of an inch, and then each of these uh, additional cutters are also an eighth of an inch. So you've got two blades and three of these guys, which brings it to five eighths of an inch. Uh, and then if you need to get more thickness, they do provide these shims. So I believe these are a sixteenth, and then they do provide as well, this other little package of very thin shims that range anywhere from 0 0.1 millimeter up to, I believe the thickest one is 0 0.5 millimeters. And they, they give you a, you know, a nice assortment of those. So you can really get your, your dado thickness dialed in. Let's go ahead and put this thing on. <clears throat> get this out of the way. So when you put this on, what you want to do is, see if we can get that to focus. So you can see how every other blade is either flat or it has this uh, angle to it. So the, the pointy side you want on the outside. So this one is going to go after, so we want this one first. Uh, yep, so that one goes here, slide it right on, put one of these guys. So I'm not going to put any shims on first, so let's just try it with the blades. So you're supposed to line these up so that the teeth aren't going to hit each other. And then you offset each of these 90 degrees from the previous one. Too far on this one. There we go. So we are definitely running out of threads. I don't know if this one's going to fit. Oh, I went and put that one on back. 
backwards. Okay guys, I don't know about this. It's a little sketchy. We're gonna give it a shot. Let me just show you a close up. We are really running out of threads here. So again, this is the 5.8. Let me get this thing to focus down here. So we've got the inner and outer blade and all three of the, uh, I don't know what they're called. All three of those other blades in so bringing the total thickness here to five eighths and this is how much thread is left so i'm gonna i'm gonna see if we can get that to bite see if i can get that nut to grab on there that looks like two threads maybe that's enough uh maybe i end up completely destroying my saw let's give it a go Well, it's on. There you go. I would say that nut is halfway on. So definitely a little sketchy, but let's give it a try. Hey guys, so I, one other thing I'm gonna mention is if you look at these teeth, uh, when you put the chippers on, what can sometimes happen as you tighten the blade is this chipper will move relative to the inside inside or outside blade uh, and it will actually just be touching uh, and I don't think that's a good idea because these are carbide teeth and you don't want them touching each other uh, you risk chipping them so what I do is I have to hold on to the blade quite firmly as I tighten this nut uh, and then I can I mean it's not that hard you just you just got to hold on to it uh, as you tighten it and those um, teeth will will stay in the right spot also, um, I did get it tightened down pretty good, and it actually kind of probably looks a little worse than it is on camera. Um, it's definitely got probably three, two and a half to three threads, um, and I was able to crank it pretty tight. So although it is slightly sketchy, I'm actually not that worried about it. But let's give it a go, and we'll see what happens. A couple other things, guys. You're going to have to make a different insert here. Um, I had this as a zero clearance insert that I had made a long time ago and decided to go ahead and just convert that into my dado insert because there's just no way that that's going to fit with the one that comes from the factory. And then always make sure that you take your riving knife off as well. Um, this thing's designed for a 10 inch blade and really it doesn't do anything. There's, there's no benefit whatsoever. It's just going to get in the way with your dado stack. So take that thing off. And let's get the other insert to put in. just because we're going to be pushing the blade up through that insert I've gone ahead and clamped this 2x4 down uh, just to secure that while we push the blade up through it to cut that new slot all right let's fire this thing up and give it a go
All right, guys, just approved to any of you naysayers out there. This is a 5 8 dado. And if we come over to the slot that we just cut, it is exactly 5 8 of an inch. I definitely wouldn't go any wider than that. This set is capable of going up to 3 quarter, actually, let me double check here, 7 8 of an inch. I do not feel comfortable going that wide on this saw. Uh, we've got just enough thread here that it's safe to say you can, you know, you can safely cut a 5 8 inch dado, but that's about it. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's try a few more here. Well guys, in summary, can you run a dado stack on a DeWalt job site table saw? The answer is yes, up to 5 eighths of an inch. I am perfectly comfortable. Beyond that, it gets pretty sketchy. There just aren't enough threads on the arbor. So yeah, guys, if you're gonna try it, don't try it. Okay, thanks guys, see you in the next one.